hello welcome back if this is the first video you are seeing in this playlist please kindly go to my youtube channel there is a playlist there titled igcs mathematics paper 4 3 may june 2024 there are 10 videos there for questions 1 to 10 this is the last question in this paper 11a in the circle center o in the circle center o the length of the minor arc PQ equals to 3 out of 7 of the length of the major arc PQ show that X equals to 108. Okay, so let's denote this uh, reflex angle, this particular one. So let's denote this to be, uh, let's denote this theta. Okay, good. So from this statement here, we can see that the length of the uh, minor arc PQ, so is equal to uh, three sevenths of the length of the major arc. So the length of the minor arc will be x over three sixty. Okay, multiply by two by r is equal to three sevenths of the length of the uh, major arc. Okay, so the major arc will be uh, theta over three sixty. Okay times 2 by r okay like this so from here 360 will cancel 360 so 2 by r will cancel 2 by r so we are left with um, x here to be equals to 3 out of 7 into theta but don't forget that uh, but uh, theta equals to 360 minus uh, x so that will be theta. So theta will be 360, 360 minus um, x. So we can now uh, key in the values here. Yeah? So let's do this. So it will be x equals to 3 over 7 into 360 minus x. Okay, so uh, if we cross multiply, it will be 7x equals to so three we multiply this bracket so let's open the bracket uh straight away okay mm, i think um okay no troubles let's continue so seven x will be equals to three times 360 that will be 1080 minus 3x so we can collect like times okay that will be seven x plus three x equals to 1080 10x equals to uh, 1080 and x equals to 108 okay so this is shown okay so we have proved that x equals to 108 degrees okay so that is pretty easy so let's go to the next question part b uh the diagram shows a sector o a b the whole thing of a circle with center O and radius R, the area of the triangle O A B is half the area of the sector angle A O B equals to Y degrees. So an is obtuse angle. So show that 360 sin Y equals to pi Y. Okay, so um, from this, the area of the triangle, the area of the triangle A O B, okay is equals to half the area of the sector so this is our lead okay so the area of the triangle okay so this is just a triangle sign okay and this is substrate s for the sector okay good so the area of the triangle will be uh the products of oa and ob which will be r uh, squared so multiply by sine of angle between them that is sine y then everything divided by 2, that's the area of the triangle. So I have, so area of the sector now will be uh, angle Y, that is Y over 360 times pi R squared, pi R squared. So in this case, R squared, we cancel R squared, then 2, we cancel 2. So we are left with, um, let's write here, sine y to be equals to y over uh, y pi or pi y 
So let's write pi y over 360. So we cross multiply. We have 360 sine y to be equals to pi y. So this is also shown. Okay, so Roman figure 2. Uh, complete the table giving your answers correct to two decimal places okay so um you can actually so one mark for this one mark for this one mark for this so there's no need to stress yourself working it out so you can actually make use of your calculator okay and uh, key in the values there so we need uh, a table so just go to our mode then select three for table okay so it's asking f of x so f of x now in this case for the first one year so our f of x will be 360 sine y but in this case since i'm using f of x here so instead of y i will use x so it will be three six um zero so multiplied by sine okay of x now so press alphabet then you press x here okay so you close the bracket okay so you hit enter then we are going to start from 108.6 that is 108.6 okay then uh, hit enter so we are going to end it at 10108.6 seven it enter and the step will be 0 0.1 that's the difference there so consider to have 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 so the step is 0 0.1 so you hit enter so we should get the answer consider when it is 108.6 so you should get uh three four one point uh, two zero so this is showing 19 because it's just showing two digits there not uh, two decimal places just two digits okay so you round it up to this so this one will be three uh four zero point uh, it's just showing just two uh points here okay so it's just showing uh two points so there is another number after that that is uh, uh if you press it in, if you input it or insert it into your calculator you should get uh three four 0.9956 and so on and so forth so we need to leave it uh, correct to two decimal places so that will be uh three four one point zero zero okay three four one point zero zero so the calculator just um gave us two uh digits not two decimal places okay so this is just two uh digits not two decimal places so that is what you get okay let me show the second one uh, for this you have this can you see this is our answer okay ah sorry so pretty good so here yeah, you have three four zero point nine nine uh five seven okay so to two decimal places it will be three four one point zero zero so this is pretty good now okay so let's have another uh, function okay so what you can do is this um i think we can just go back so let's select another function as so another function will be by y now okay so let's do like this so let's select three so f of x now will be equals to by y so we can select pi here so press shift then press this to get pi then into uh, y so don't forget that i'm using f of x here so i should use x here otherwise it will give me an error oh, sorry i need to press shift okay so shift then press this oh sorry what's that so shift again oh sorry what's wrong shift again yes then you have this come on oh sorry alphabet rather alphabet then x then close this so th this is my f of x then hit enter so the step will be one zero one zero eight that's the starting point point six hit enter equals to then to end at one zero eight 
then point seven each enter and the step is zero point one each enter so you can see uh the f of x has come from here so it is uh three four one point one seven six nine so to two decimal places to be three four one point one eight so this will be three four one point one eight then for the second one if i come down so you have uh three four one point four nine one one so it remains three four one point four nine okay so let's write the answers here so three four one point one eight so we run that up then you have three four one point four nine you round this off okay so this is how to complete this by using your calculator so roman figure three complete the statement so the value of y correct to one decimal place that satisfies the equation three hundred and sixty and y equals to pi y is that so let's go to where the value of y equals to okay the value of y correct to one decimal place okay will be what let's see so if you come here um this is okay uh it will be the answer that is very close so you can see that when you correct it to one decimal place so this will be three four uh two okay so this will be three four one point two okay so that is what we're going to have so it's similar here so we are going to get so we want where this and this will be equal okay so for this at one zero when y equals to one zero eight point six so for this we have three four one point two zero for the left hand side and uh, to one decimal place like that so that is you have three four one point two here okay so you have three four one point two that is one decimal place and one decimal place here will also be three four one point two so the best value of y is this so it will be one zero eight point six okay so this is the end of my solution to uh igcse mathematics paper four three written in may june 2024 in the next uh, series of videos i will be solving the uh, corresponding papers two that is um, two one and two three respectively